Hello and welcome to the EPROPS YouTube channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to the instrument for managing the glorious variable pitch propeller. We start with turning on the instrument by gently pulling the switch which will initiate the test phase of different colours and displays a light blue background. Depending on the intake pressure and the chosen RPM, the background colours will change to orange, which indicates if the engine works like that, it will be in over torque. At more than 5,500 revolutions, the background changes to green, which indicates the possibility of performing a go around so the propeller will be in small pitch. We also have alarms which are possible with voltage problems. For example, if the instrument supply voltage is lowered, a red flashing light will appear at the bottom right corner. If there is a false contact on the supply wire, of the solenoid valve, the screen will flash red. And if the contact is re established and the instrument set to fine pitch, the red flashing stops. We will now see the connection between an Android tablet with Google Chrome and the instrument. First, the verification of the version. Here I have opened on the previous version. It is necessary to click on the new version, which will update the page. Then to connect, click on connect and then associate. On the instrument you have a four digit code above. In my case 6538 and it is a code that will change every time. We validate and it marks transfer OK. Changing simple parameters, for example, the calibration of the battery. So I take the coefficient 108 battery coef A1. The battery is currently at 12.8 volts. If I put 30 instead of the coefficient, the battery voltage will show 16.4, which will then trigger the over voltage alarm in the bottom right corner. I'll bring the coefficients back to 23.5 and then the battery will be at 12.8 volts. If we want to save the new value we have to click on save settings in flash then send and the saving is validated. we will see the display or deletion of the parameter. For example, the intake pressure. We will go to the tab, DISP. The intake pressure is the first one. We replace the one with a zero. And then the intake pressure is no longer on the screen of the instrument. If we want to put it back, we put back one and we save our configuration. Save 
Save display in flash, then send. Confirm the transfer is OK. Now we are going to see the setting of the intake pressure. So still using the application, the connection is made as before. We are going to the tab E, parameter to be calibrated MP. For the target value we look for is on our reference instruments. We copy the pressure. And we validate. We change the pressure. We wait for it to stabilize. Ideally, we do this operation three or four times. The last measurement is the ambient pressure. And now calcul COF and send. We see that we have 28.5 on the instrument too. and we save the new parameters. Now you have a configuration that suits you well, it will be a good idea to save it so that you can make other tests and come back to it easily. Open the tab with the sphere. We will call it Essay do. Upload. It confirms success. And to verify that the upload has been successful, update file list. And we have our different file versions. To recall a previous version of the parameters, we will do update and then we can choose a version from the list. We can even go back to trial one. Then either if it is for example on the screen it will be in display or settings for the other parameters. In our case the display. There we do not have the intake pressure displayed. We do the update and the intake pressure reappears. And so there is a confirmation of the update is correct. We can save again to validate this version.